Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull energy to see what you got going on, see what you're working on. Um, the card comes over. We have the Queen of Wands, your confidence. Uh, confidence shines from the inside. When you love yourself, own your flaws, rock them without caring what others think. But at some point, it's being put to the test. I think I will take this card that's trying to come over because it's unsure. Unsure about the Eight of Pentacles, confident on working on something, uh, bettering yourself. Um, eight of Pentacles, eight years. This is either you um, being misdirected or, um, you know, you have things that you need to work on but you're unsure like where to start if you ask me that's kind of how I see it yeah with the four cups being here and also the chariot yeah moving forward you're unsure where to move forward because see the confidence comes when you know what direction you want to go in and which direction you want to move towards and that is a situation to where you have to kind of uh, grasp I'm turning up my microphone because I don't know if you guys can hear me but I really can't hear um, so myself, and I like to hear myself <laughs> respectfully, uh, the four of cups is because you reach this plateau, you're disconnected, you reach this plateau, you need to sit back, meditate and relax and try to figure out what it is that you need to do. And, um, sometimes, you know, contemplation and, um, happens and that's when it gets to the point to where, yeah, look at that, the sun energy growth. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, the high priestess, trusting your intuition. The high priestess energy is like listening to your instincts, trusting yourself, but it also, queen of swords energy, this is making head over heart decisions when it comes to following your heart and growth. And so when that when that comes out the way that it comes out, I don't know why, I moved my microphone. I hate to put it exactly in front of me because I can't see the cards, but um I just feel like you guys can't hear me and maybe you can I'm just you know making things a little bit better for myself and for you guys but anyway what I was basically saying is that the queen of wands having confidence uh, in yourself and what you want to work on or where you need to move towards or what you need to move towards is basically you planting the seed and um, the eight of Pentacles here is you know, you starting, you already started with the seven of pentacles, but eight years it took for you to get to the point to where you're confident and being able to move forward. But that all comes with you and your trust, confidence and trusting your intuition. And that's called growth and following your heart, not anybody else's heart, but the queen of swords, when she shows her face, it just lets you know that, you know, now it's time for you to kind of have clear boundaries and be very direct and you know, and that's just the thing that sometimes us as, you know, the um, Queen of Cups energy, we're so empathetic and so, um, what is it, concerning or um, I, I'm trying to say we're empathetic and we, we care about the, the opinions of others. And, you know, when we're in our Queen of Pentacles bag, like JDS Terrell says, the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself. And so... That is what we don't want is the toxicity. And that's what we have to actually learn from the past energies of why toxicity isn't the best thing for you to be. You know, the best thing for you to uh, be a part of is being toxic to your own self. So just a part of contemplating. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands energy. Um, let's clarify the Queen of Wands. Then we're going to clarify the Eight of Pentacles since uh, that came out. I think that came out second is the uh, Eight of Pentacles. But yeah. We have to be confident. Yeah, see, the Nine of Swords causes anxiety. When we're not confident in ourselves, it causes anxiety. The Queen of Wands, again, just lets you know that you have to have the courage to go after all the passions, everything that you want, but it comes with determination. Oh, the cards fell out. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, it comes with determination. Let me see if any fell on the floor. No, they didn't. Uh, so when it comes to, I said we were clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, right? So when it comes to... Um, the eight of pentacles being here these cards fell out it's trying to tell you something hold on let me turn my light up i'm having technical difficulties over here if you can't tell so the eight of pentacles comes with very clarifying the princess the cups energy which is the page of cups energy and so this is just you actually being able to 
um, be happy about things, dream, and know it's okay to follow your dreams, but also wanting somebody to work with you as a team, somebody to adore you, somebody to, you know, be able to look and communicate with you and come up with a plan. That's why you're hesitant on working on the things that your creativity, your dreams, your passions and things like that, because you want a higher, you, you know, you want like somebody's blessings, you know, you want somebody to change their belief system. And this is the energy that you want it to be like, okay, if I'm going to work with this person, place, thing, or situation as a team, I want them to just love and adore me the way I would. I want them to dream the same way I dream, King of Swords energy, air energy. And so um, with the air energy, excuse me, I said King of Swords, King of Wands energy. This King of Wands energy is, it can be somebody who's a true leader who leads from the heart inspires others to do more dream bigger or be better but however when the queen of swords shows her face this is somebody who really just kind of if you ask me this is somebody who really just kind of makes you feel like you know they see the big picture they're leaders or they can change things but you don't feel like uh this is something that's going to be harmonious for you or peaceful for you or you know um like being able to celebrate together and so that is where you have to turn around and look at things are you waiting uh to work on yourself because you want this person to work with you or to have the same ideals or dreams with you because this person can be a leader but they can be leading down a different direction or going down a different direction when it comes to what you know the opposites of what you want and so therefore it could cause you to not trust your intuition or trust in yourself and to have anxiety of the past if that makes sense and so that's the reason why I say with the chariot being here chariot with uh, you know all of the other energies it just lets you know that sometimes you just have to kind of go with what it is that you want and you know kind of work on the things that you want and let this person have their own um, ideals uh, when it comes to business finances and things like that but you have to be able to communicate as a team and to see things um in a in the in a certain perspective and you have to have support from your significant other and that could be why these two energies you had to go out and change your belief system it's soul searching uh hierophant energy but the hierophant energy also is you know obeying you know like do i want to obey you know this person and you know what if they tell me about what I want is it what you know is right for you what is it good for the gander goose whatever it is so this is clarifying this energy right here and so that is the eight of pentacles so all of these energies are like your dreams here you working with somebody and this is why you're contemplating this um uh, the uh excuse me the eight of pentacles this is why you're contemplating it because Normally, it will be you're working on yourself, like I said before, and it will be, you know, something else, but it's misdirected, you know, um, it's misdirection. It's being pointed in a different direction because somebody may feel what you're doing isn't right. I want to clarify this King of Wands energy to see what comes out because this King of Wands might be direct, you know, leading you. They could be a true leader or a leader in a certain situation, but not when it comes to your dreams and ideals. So I'm going to see who this King of Wands is. Who is this King of Wands? Because, yeah, you have to understand that, you know, just because, you know, it's not something that this person wants, you don't stop. Yeah, strength. This is somebody who you believe is strong enough to be able to lead you, but it's not helping you. And so when the strength energy shows its face, this is you having to believe in yourself. This person doesn't really believe in what you want to do, your dreams, you know, and working with you and having equality. Does that make sense? And so that is who this person is. Um, and you have to kind of move forward, movement, chariot energy. The chariot is keep going, right? That's the movement energy because it's going to be anxiety. You're going to be filled with anxiety when it comes to your confidence, if you don't keep going and also realize that the four cups energy, you've reached this plateau where it's time for you to move forward because your vision is not what their vision is. Even though you want to quote unquote, and I say that respectfully, obey or be um, submissive to somebody who you feel like is 
you know, hold on, this is my son. Okay, so, yeah, I just, you know, when it comes to the Nine of Swords being there and the feeling, the emotion, and then when it comes to the King of Wands, but the Strength card being there, it's like you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can do the work, that you can have the happy, happy um, house, home, um, and, and also universe, but you have to be your own King of Wands. Excuse me. I, yeah, I'm saying it right. King of Wands. You have to be your own King of Wands and believe in yourself. And so sometimes when we are looking back and trying to figure out where our confidence and where, where we get the confidence from, we have to look at the stories of what we dreamed about and what we wanted and how we collaborate with other people. And that's when the chariot energy shows its face. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify the chariot with the nine of cups. See, the chariot is when you move forward, you can have anything you want. You can go after your dreams. You can do everything. But when you start to doubt yourself or to wait for somebody to validate your dreams, which are different from everyone else's, you can have anything you want. But if somebody isn't on the same page as you, then that will only go and look like anxiety. And it causes you all types of energies of you having to, um, you know, just basically be, to be depressed. And that's not what you want. You want to be confident in every situation. So when you start to reach a plateau for a cup's energy, because you're bored, you're disconnected. Oh, look at all the cards. Hold on. When you reach that plateau, these came out first, you turn around and yeah, uh, Knight of Wands energy, you, you turn around and get in your Drake energy. You only live once, be bold, be fearless, do what you want. Knight of Wands energy, the Eight of Wands energy. You start to really just kind of move forward and start to communicate a little bit different. You start sending out those messages of, you know, maybe from the exes, maybe from the new people uh, in your life and the emperor energy. Then you start to recognize your strengths. But the emperor energy is basically you learn to respect yourself. Five of Pentacles energy because of the struggle. The struggle is real. Five of Pentacles, five years you struggle to get through this situation. And and this is could be poverty. It could be a lot of things. It could be struggle, stress. It could just be a lack of, you know, you believing in yourself. And so with the Five of Pentacles being here, your mindset is lack. You're looking at lack. You're speaking lack. You're isolating yourself. You're going into hermit mode. So when you go into hermit mode, this part is not just soul searching. It's you going into her remote because you don't know how to get out of this energy to where you stop when you're not confident and you're not believing in yourself. So that's when we normally go into hermit mode, when we start to really struggle with and doubt and um, question the things that we do. And so that's when the queen of shores always shows her face, um, you know, and queen of swords can be male or female, however you put it. But the queen of swords is when you start to just not take shit from anybody. The Queen of Swords, as I learned when I was learning tarot, it says, um, stand up for yourself. Always speak your mind. Don't take shit from anyone. So if you're not taking shit from anyone, this is when she stands up and the Knight of Cups energy start to follow your heart and stop worrying about what other people say. Because, again, the Queen of Swords is somebody who is very um, uh, clear with their boundaries, very direct, and people don't like that. And they only like for you to be and be submissive to them and to their needs. And so with the Queen of Swords being here, you have to, yeah, two of, two of Pentacles energy, make a decision. Oh, it came and fell out here. Sorry. With the Two of Pentacles energy, make a decision if this is worth your time anymore. Knight of Cups energy. And not just being worth your time. Uh, Knight of Cups comes with insecurities. Yeah. So uh, following your heart because this insecurity, you're not an insecure person. You could care less about how somebody else feels about anybody you're with or certain situations when it comes to something that is not in your in inner circle. And so you don't care. I'm not going to say you don't care. You are, you're not in the process of trying to figure out what somebody else ha has going on unless it's been placed in your, in your grasp. And, and you're like, well, then you start to doubt yourself and you start to question and you stop making decisions and you start to soak. And this is a different type of hermit mode. Hermit mode is normally you going soul searching or you uh, changing your belief system. But um, hermit mode can also be when you learn to meditate and stop feeling sorry for yourself and get up and do what you got to do. And that's where the emperor comes out with you respecting yourself. Because, again, um, the Knight of Cups energy, the Knight of Cups energy says, always follow your heart. It'll never lead astray. I, I got a dry patch in my throat. 
somebody's throat chakra is off, it'll never lead, lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain. When it comes to insecurities, when it comes to doubt, to doubt is not to believe. But when it comes to doubting yourself and not to have confidence in the things that you really want, which is family, happy life, happy wife, and not even that, you want to be able to work as a team with the person, to have somebody that's a team player. And that is the hard part about this situation. As I set the card deck down, I look at the bottom and the Queen of Pentacles is here. So when it comes to like the Seven of Swords, like I was saying before, I had to get something to drink. Um, it, you feel like there is, you know, um, things getting in your way or um, people are getting away with things. And you have to come up with a different solution uh, because you feel like there's more deception and betrayal there than anything else. And so that's why you have to follow your heart. And that's called growth. That's called you learning not to keep dwelling on the past and the things that you can't change and move forward and learning to trust in your intuition and to uh, trust yourself and also respect yourself. And that also comes out with the Knight of Cups energy again. So the Knight of Cups energy is a different type of growth because the Knight of Cups energy is right here under clarifying the Seven of uh, Swords energy, which you have to understand and see through the deception, you know, Cut your grass lower, you know, because the snakes are in the grass, you know, the things that make you feel like you're doubting yourself. But the Knight of Cups energy is like, this is a different night. This is somebody who isn't really is kind of skeptical on how they're giving their cup away. But do you see the difference in between this night of growth and just learning to love and be OK with loving the way that they love and bottom of the deck is the um, full energy and taking that leap to trust in yourself. Taking that leap, here it is, normally the fool has is, is stepping off of a cliff, but you're willing to go around and around and around and take the leap, not knowing when the wheel will stop, and that's a good thing. And so when it comes to you trusting in your intuition and moving forward, that is what you have to do. You have to take that leap in order to take that leap and trust in yourself in order to recognize your strengths, in order to, you know, get to a point to where you are okay with the, the, the past and you're believing in yourself moving forward, and there's no room for anxiety. There's no room for a lack of confidence. There's only room for you and, and not for being sad. It's only room for happiness, and that's the decision that you decide to make when you look at things in a different perspective and realize where the anxiety is coming from, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements if you guys want to know what the four agreements uh, mean to me. Um, you can... Click the link up above. I'll put it up there. And then also the um, chakras, which is from the crystal deck. I'll go ahead and pull from there. And then I'll turn around and I will. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, you know, that is the azur azurite. I can never say that. The azurite. But the thing is, it's like you have to learn to trust in your intuition. You have to learn to know what your chakras are, know where your weaknesses and your strengths are. And it's okay, we are, we all are weak in certain areas of our lives, but we just have to know what it is and where and how we're gonna do it. My son keeps coming in here. I'm on the phone. I mean, I'm not on the phone. He doesn't know where recording is. I just don't think so. Anyway. So, you know, you just got to learn not to take things personal. You got to understand where you are, what, what your past is, why and how you learn from the past and why, what keeps you, makes you stagnant. That's the lessons of life that we have to all learn. And also how to deal with insecurities, how to deal with deception, how to deal with, with just our emotions and our feelings and what causes us to be afraid to move forward or to take a leap when it comes to what is best for us and us following our heart which is always the best thing for us. That's why I tell you guys to look at the chakras, to understand the chakras and go from there. So it says transform your life. And that's what you're doing. You're transforming your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even your sadness will simply disappear if you don't take things personally. So again, learn, avoid, learn to take, not to take things personally, learn from the, the past, understand that you have to trust in yourself. You have to remember the things that um, made you feel certain types of way. And when those are considered triggers and red flags, those red flags, are you going back to that? Are you doing this or are you doing that? So the Azurite is the third eye chakra and the throat chakra. It's communication, guidance, guidance and intuition. Remember, click the links if you want to know. 
It says, I am open to guide to guidance from the universe. Trust your instincts, trust your intuition, trust in the universe. This is what it is. Your intuition, your strength, and you being able to take a leap is what defines you as a person. Um, not defines you, but that's what, um, what, where you can learn from your emotions, learning, learning your emotions and learning how to deal with the triggers in life in general not it just in your life but in life general and that teaches you how to set the boundaries and so if that makes sense so i'm going to go ahead and we're going to let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or situation i love you guys